What's going on everybody? DJ Kohem here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Giant Software announced something that we have been waiting a long time to see. Farming Simulator 22. This will be the next flagship farming simulator game and the newest one since Farm Sim 19. This will be the first game since the beginning of Farming Simulator to change up the naming scheme since odd numbers were generally the flagship and even numbers were the mobile game. That numbering system is now no more. Farming Simulator 22 will be coming to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, as well as Xbox One, PC, Mac, and Google Stadia in Q4 of 2021, which is somewhere between October 1st and December 31st, though the exact date has not been announced yet. Basically, holiday season 2021. Giant Software had this to say about Farm Sim 22. Once again, the new game takes a big leap forward with new features and improvements as Giant Software grows with the series, and we will for the first time be self-publishing the new title. Farming Simulator 22 will offer more depth thanks to a big variety of new additions and more freedom than ever before. Prepare for new crops, new maps, new machines, new brands, and more. Oh, and it's getting snowy too. The addition of season cycles is also included in base game, as well as other features to be announced very soon. Two new maps come to the series, plus an updated Erlenglad map to allow for different kinds of farming operations. More than 400 machines and tools from more than 100 authentic agricultural brands, including new machine categories, will make agriculture, animal husbandry, and forestry even more fun than ever. In short, Farming Simulator 22 will offer more depth thanks to a big variety of new additions and more freedoms than ever before. Farming Simulator 22 is based around the new Giants Engine 9 and comes with a variety of improvements like more realistic AI behavior and richer worlds with graduated reverberations of motors, gear sounds, gear selections, and tonal vibrations depending on the load and the sound shifts towards more realism. Very cool. Just to give an example. And game performance? Well, that's going to improve too. Direct X12 support for Windows, multi-threading optimization, texture streaming, occlusion uh, culling, and temporal anti-aliasing amidst other op optimizations. We'll get Farming Simulator 22 a boost on all systems. Saying that this is game-changing is an understatement, by the way. Laying the foundation for even more complex mod customization and even pushing the limits of last gen consoles to enjoy the improved slot usage. Oh yeah. But that's not all. Stay tuned as they will be announcing more features soon as they are ready to share them. New elements of Farming Simulator 22 will be teased and shared over the coming weeks and months. And don't worry, you will see it all right here on the channel. We did get a couple new screenshots to keep us busy as well, starting off with this one showcasing seasons. You can see in the background a big red barn. The big red barns have been part of their ad campaign for almost every farm sim game. So I'm not sure if we can go much off of that, though you can see this does showcase seasons very well. Next up, we see the New Holland CH770 Combine. As far as I can tell, this is a brand new combine that will get its digital debut in Farm Sim 22. As you know, I'm a big New Holland fan, so I will take this all day. In the next screenshot, we get to see some new cattle, including the famous Rosie licking her lips. Oh, yeah. In the background, you can see, I think these are brand new gray and brown cattle models, uh, and they're actually laying down something that you don't see cows do in Farm Sim 19. We also get to see the new Massey Ferguson that was teased in a previous post, and one that lots of you have been asking about, the Massey Ferguson 8S. This is the newest in a line of massive tractors and offers all of the features that you need in a modern farm. Next is something that's going to make a lot of you guys happy, myself included, the Finn Katana 650 Forge Harvester. I love Finn, and have a Forge Harvester from them in-game is amazing. You can also see some different stalk animations as well. Hmm, very interesting. And lastly, something that I'm sure you are all waiting to see, the John Deere 9R as a base game machine. This is incredible. This is pulling a Vaderstack cultivator, but by the looks of it, it's leaving a stubble on the ground that is quite different than what we're seeing. It's not just changing it to a cultivated state. It's actually leaving some of that crop in. Real interesting. Hopefully we'll get more information on both the machines and this feature soon. And that is everything that we know about the upcoming Farming Simulator 22. Again, it will be coming to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PC, Mac, and Google Stadia in Q4 of 2021, somewhere between October 1st and December 31st of 2021, though the exact date has not been announced yet. If you have any questions or noticed anything in these screenshots or in the video that I didn't notice, join me later today as we're going to be live streaming and breaking down the teaser trailer and the screenshots live with you guys. 
Make sure you stay tuned for that. But with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video showing off the next flagship game in the Farming Simulator franchise, Farming Simulator 22. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to jump if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.